Look at that stump. Perfect. Yeah. But you see right there what just happened. Look at it, it's a little pine. It's a little pine. And this thing three times hung up on me whenever I was dog dogging it around. Yeah. I don't have anything but stock little tiny dogs on it. So these things are great, but they're rippers. They're not they're not big timber. They're not grunt grunters. No, not at all. And that's why I'm I'm constantly on the fence of this thing's awesome versus this thing sucks. You know, it's like you should be able to dog right in and pick that out. And yeah, 67 cc's. That's like a what is that? That's a little pine. What is that? 400. Okay. That's yours with a big bore kit, basically. basically yeah. yeah, you know, and, and it's just like. Well, okay. Take the. Where's your five? What six you do it? Make a stump cut with the five. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Same cut. Same cut with a saw that's less supposedly less powerful. See how she does. You know, the only rake that's all the pork pie is not cool. Yeah. Come on. <laughs>
See? Proof's in the pudding right there. <laughs> you know, it's just like. The moral of the story is if you pre smoke the stump, <laughs> it cuts easy. <laughs> pre smoke. <laughs> <laughs> That thing beats them both. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And all that is is a 359 with a muffler mod. <laughs> you know? Gonna set this piece somewhere we can we can uh prop it up and you can make cuts with this and this and just i would just do that with a bigger tree okay all right <clears throat> what do you think though 
This has more power. This could be faster. Yeah. You can definitely tell that this has more power than that. Yeah. Good morning, you guys. So that was with um, Barry. Uh, Barry has uh, bought him about five acres uh, property up in uh, the North Georgia Hills. I was like, I'm from Kentucky. I know what mountains are actually like. <laughs> there are some mountains in North Georgia, and there aren't many mountains at all in Kentucky. We got hills. Um, it is a weird thing, though, because in Kentucky, we don't call anything a mountain. It's all hills. Um, but yet, down here in Georgia, they got a little pile of rocks, and they call it a mountain. <laughs> Stone Mountain. Uh, it's 400 feet tall, something like that. <laughs> it's not a mountain, guys. Um, but anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, you want to go see mountains? Go to uh, Mount Washington <laughs> up in New Hampshire. And what's that, Cathedral Ledge? Mm -hmm. what, what mountain is Cathedral Ledge? You don't know. They, they, they got this ledge that I guess a lot of people like to climb the face of it. It's in the White Mountains, up at the north of the uh, Appalachian Mountains. And um, you can drive up to the top of Cathedral Ledge. And um, I am not afraid of heights at all. But I am practical. <laughs> and whenever you're looking down uh, over that edge, whoo, that's a long drop. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. Chainsaws. So... Uh, you saw what you see. Uh, I know you saw me fail that. I think it's a cypress tree, uh, what I dropped and what me and Barry were cutting up. Uh, but um, dropped that little cypress tree. Uh, I mean, I didn't do too bad of a job. It wasn't any good. I, I get it. You know, like if I was a pro, my boss would be yelling at me for that ugly stump. But that's, that's why I cut it off clean and I went, look at that beautiful stump. <laughs> but um, the reason it got hung up like that, yes, my stump wasn't so good for sure, but that thing would have kept on falling and been perfectly fine had it not gotten hung up in uh, some poplars. And we, we knew that. We were looking at it. We were, we were well, I think it's going to get, should I take that down first? You know, we were, we were doing all that stuff. But uh, in the end, you know, they were wanting to open up a little spot they'd been using as a, for a little campfire area. And, uh, and so they wanted to keep some trees in that little spot. But at the same time, they wanted to, some of them to go. That's how it goes. But there, it was so overcrowded in there. That place hasn't been touched for like 30 years. So I, similar situation to me and Irene, whenever we bought this place, what I like to say, there was a specific building um, it's actually over there where I have my logs set up and I do all my cuts. There was a building back there uh, behind me. As in, Whenever you're seeing the next cutting vid video where I'm just cutting cookies on a log that's set up, behind that, on the flat area, there was a building. And you could stand 60 feet away from that and not know that there was a building there because that's how overgrown our place was. Uh, so anyways, I'm familiar with that. But the big meat of this video right here is the comparing that me and Barry do uh, to the 400 with both the 562 and the 359. And um, that 400, I just started on this day. Uh, it ran out of gas on me and I, and I filled it up for its seventh tank. And a lot of people have claimed that eight tanks is the key that's when it breaks in and <laughs> right so um but that husqvarna is still on its first tank even at the end of that day right there that the, of us cutting i didn't run out of tank uh so it's still on its very first tank very very first tank six tanks actually on its seventh tank hasn't even used up a single tank so that's the story between those two saws. Both of them bone stock completely. Um, 
they are running different chains. The MS400 has a square grind on it uh, that was made by Steve McDowell. And uh, from my testing, that actually beat the Husqvarna X-Cut chain. I then went and I took one, two swipes off of the rakers, and that's it. It has not seen dirt. It has only had a, just a handful of cuts on it. In theory, it should be faster than the X-Cut chain. But I will admit that it's a tiny bit grabby. Just a little bit, though. Just a little bit. But the tail of the tape there is... This is why I've been struggling with that MS-400. It goes against my cutting style in a very big way. Um, I, I like the feel of pushing it through the wood. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not cranking on it. But I'm just not, I'm not just letting it simply eat away. I do like to put a little bit of pressure and guide it through the wood. That's what I like to do. That's who I am, right? That 400 doesn't like that. And to me, it's goofy as can be because that's almost a 70cc saw. I'm not pushing on it very hard at all. I mean, you see what I did with the 562? It was fine. It stumbled just a hair at the beginning. I adjust and I'm fine, all right? Um, the 359 didn't stumble at all. Now, I got to ask Barry, that may have 325 chain on it, um, but I don't think so. I think he's got steel 38 RS chain on it. That's what I think he's got. Barry, in the comments, let me know if I'm right. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways, I've rambled on enough about this stuff. Uh, but, in the end, after this video, after this video... What I found myself doing is constantly reaching for the 562. I will say this, the 562 is heavier. And you can tell it. You can tell it. There's a difference. The 562 is heavier than the 400, which is like, right? <laughs> I, you know, that saw is only 59 cc's. And it's a modern saw. It's a good saw. But yeah, it's heavier. But, and, and this is the MS-400, so Daniel was there, uh, even though he's not in this video, um, Barry was there, and of course I was there, and after this video, the MS-400 just sat there on the ground. I kept reaching for the 562. Barry kept reaching for his 562. Um, uh, well, Daniel was, to be fair, was up in the tree most of the time. But his 362, it never, it, he ended up, he never put it in the wood. I, I don't think he ever put it in the wood. Even He came down. He had this chain that he was wanting to try out on it. But, uh, you know, he felled the trees with my uh, 757. You'll see that in another video. And Barry's um, 375. So, yeah, his 362 didn't even get touched. Not, or didn't, didn't even see the wood. My 400 ended right here in the, in, at the end of this video. M me and Barry both were like, yeah, the 562 is stronger. You know, it might, uh, you know, the 400 might rev faster and actually be faster in the cut, Maybe. But honestly, I don't think it is. Uh, eventually, we'll find out. But for now, I just... Yeah, that's my constant love-hate with the 400. It feels amazing. It feels so great. But I'm going, damn, dude, that's 67 cc's. And I've got two 59 cc saws that are right there with it. I shouldn't have to port an extremely advanced 67cc saw in order for me to like it more than my 50, 59cc saws. That's a, that's, it's a great saw, but damn, I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, proof is in the pudding there, okay? 